Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Sagittarius for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Sagittarius, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, Justice card, and the Hanged Man, okay? So what I see here, Sag, is you have somebody who's definitely coming towards you. They want to make you an offer. They want to talk. Um, I feel like with the Justice card and the Hidden Position, for some of you, it could be someone that wants to make things up to you. But more so, I feel like this is karmic justice. And you're being told with the Hanged Man not to rush to any conclusions. Um, I do see that you've been considerably heartbroken in the past here with the Three of Swords. So again, take your time here, Sag. But I feel like you've got somebody healthy and balanced coming your way. But let's see. The Queen of Pentacles, for many of you, this is your energy. You've been focused on healing. You've been focusing on work and finances. You know, she's beautiful energy. She's been waiting for the right person. She's also been, um, you know, she's she always looks good. She takes good care of her house, her home. Um, she always looks like she's going somewhere. She's not in a rush. She, does, she doesn't have a desperate energy about her. And again, male or female, it doesn't matter. Ooh, yeah. So for a lot of you, this is somebody who's got secret feelings for you. Pisces Cancer Energy. This is also going to be a telepathic connection. And whenever the high priestess shows up for me in a reading, she's an indication that the universe is reworking people and situations behind the scenes to bring you together. So it may come as a bit of a shock or a surprise. Yeah, I feel like a lot of my a lot of my saggies out there, you're healing from something. Now, maybe maybe it's something physical, accident, illness or injury. It could also be that you're just really working on your finances but I also just feel like you've experienced a lot of disappointments in love. And with the Six of Swords, you have somebody here who also may be feeling quite lonely or somebody here who is also just moving on from heartache. But I feel like you two are going to form a very powerful, very stable, very secure bond is what I'm getting. This person is bringing peace. <laughs> this is somebody new. They're bringing you peace. They're bringing you passion. Okay, and they might be a little bit of an overthinker here. They might be worried that you're going to reject them. Um, this person I'm also hearing might be worried that you don't see them like as a lover is what I'm getting. So they might be like a friend. They might be worried that, you know, that, that you're not interested or, yeah, for some of you, it could be like a friend or a coworker, somebody with secret feelings. They're a little bit in their head about you for sure. But with the page of pentacles, this person wants to make you an offer. They want to ask you out. They want to move forward. They're going to move slowly. This person is very passionate about you, but they also know that you've been through a lot. So again, this person, it feels like they know a little bit about you already. This person holds a torch for you. For some of you, this person, again, maybe a friend or a coworker, they know what you've been through. For some of you, they may even know your ex, which I know is not ideal, but I do feel like this person has been waiting for the right time to get something off their chest to tell you how they're feeling. And for a lot of you, I just love this energy. It's like justice. It's karmic balance after heartache and loss. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of you, this is 1111 energy, a true soulmate coming your way. And a lot of you, you've manifested this without realizing it. This person, they're going to offer you stability and security down the line, but they're not going to rush you, Sag. Now we get this Pisces energy coming through with the hanged man. So you're being told to just look at all the details. Some of you, you don't know who this person is, or you're not sure who this person is, but you're meant to just hang out in this nine of pentacles energy, which I'm seeing here as the queen of pentacles as well. You're meant to just be focusing on you, building up your strength and your courage, you know, taking off those boxes of the things that you want to do, that you want to accomplish, being your the highest, you know, highest and best version of yourselves. Yeah. 
And you know, you might feel like things are a little bit stuck or stagnant in your love life, but like I keep getting with this high priestess energy that that's not the case. There's somebody really beautiful, really balanced, really perfect for you coming your way. It just might be taking a little bit. And I feel like with the five of cups and the three of swords, you've been significantly hurt or heartbroken here, Sag. So focus on that healing because you definitely have something and someone quite beautiful, quite in alignment with you coming your way. It's such positive messages. Sorry, it is such a positive message. <clears throat> what advice do you have for my Sagittarius, please? Awaken love. It is safe for you to love. Don't let fear or insecurity stop you from giving and receiving unconditional love and accept your blessings. You've got a major blessing coming your way here, Sag. A major, major blessing. Believe that the door of abundance is waiting for you. The clearer the goals, the quicker you'll get there. Yeah, so I'm almost getting like my Sag is out there. You don't really have to do much. You just have to, you know, maybe be patient, which I know is what we always hate to hear. But just getting into this higher vibration because you're calling in someone, someone quite quite beautiful here. Yeah. It feels, it feels like your person, you know, maybe they do flirt with you. They're very attracted to you. They might know your ex or they know what you've been through. Okay. I'm not getting that this person is a player at all. I'm not getting that they have third parties. Um, I feel like this person is more so like they're very attracted to you. They may be worried that you're not going to feel the same way. All right. And there's a lot of, there's potential for love here, unconditional love. We get that this person's very affectionate and they're very attracted to you. All right, let's see what my Saggies need to know. Yeah, a lot of you, you may end up in a higher level of commitment or married to this person. And yeah, we get wedding and engagement. So I see you really this being a life partner coming your way. For some of you, there's something here about competition or a third party. Again, I don't know if people have been gossiping about this person or if you have an ex. I just kind of feel like this person might know your ex or your ex might know that this person likes you or was always jealous of this person. Again, I know that's a very specific message and it's not going to be for all of you. Um, but I, And just be aware of gossip here. Okay, Be aware of gossip if this is somebody that you know, you know from work or school or the gym or in the community or through friends. Um, but I'm just seeing here that this person, this person adores you. That's what I'm getting. And we see this energy of next year. So this person might be quiet until about the new year. Okay. So for the next two months, that might be your waiting time. All right. And they've been loving you from, from a distance for quite some time is what I'm getting. For some of you, they could be at a distance from you. And spirits also saying this person is responsible though. This person is going to be responsible with your feelings. This person wants to do things right. I feel like they're coming in. They're bringing peace with them, but they are nervous. All right. Spirit saying dreams come true. I love this. Have faith. Your rainbow will come smiling through and we get you are worthy. So this is what you deserve, Sag. I really hope I didn't call you Gemini. I feel like I just might have. I do know I'm in the Sagittarius reading and I did just come off of the Gemini reading, but um, I want you to know that this is karmic justice for you with you are worthy. Um, and we also see your worth doesn't depend on the other person. And I feel like that's the energy that you're in with this nine of pentacles where you get to this feeling of like, I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. And I feel like, boom, that's right when this person comes in. It's a dream come true. It may take, you know, a month or two for this person to come towards you or for you to know who they are. But, you know, Sag, it feels fantastic from where I'm standing. All right. Beware of some sort of third party interference, though. That could be gossip. And again, maybe this person has somebody that doesn't want to let them go or doesn't want you two to be together or possibly an ex or something on your side. But I, I don't think that's going to get in the way of this connection. OK, so I'm going to leave it here, Sag. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.